Hey, what's up YouTube? So today is day four of the league and video four. And I'm gonna go over some of the gonna get through the same format as last time. Go over to gear, show my transition to aura stacker. So you can see I've got a lot more stuff now and we're pretty close. Transition to aura stacker, then we'll talk about when you should transition to aura stacker because I keep getting questions asked about this. And I'll try to look on PoE Ninja to give some examples to show you like of people who've transitioned and what I really think of the transition and how strong their characters are. And then we're going to look at some highlights. I killed the Trial Master yesterday and I got some pretty interesting loot from the Trial Master on the 10th wave. It's something you really have to see to believe because I think it was insane what I got. So this Bladefall Blade Blast character has gotten pretty strong recently. It's pretty good at doing all content. I haven't really failed anything yet. The only thing I failed is a Breach Invitation, but that was way back. Probably give another shot on stream today. So what did I change on this character? I still have a Sixteen Cloak. Same helm with the Smoke Mine Enchant for more move speed. A Series Foible is still the same. This is still, Oh, I got a new ring. I don't know if this was shown up last time better more chaos res this chaos res is actually a big issue and it has max high life high mana and tri res now if something that you can get that's really good on the ring if you guys have an empty prefix is to craft on this thing mana recoup damage taking recoup this mana it helps you run rf and it helps you with just mana regen in general and it's super super useful now i think my wands are the same i don't know if i got more caspi since last time this is still the same. Oh yeah, I also figured out, I think uh, 20 quality unleash gives you an alternate quality anomalous unleash gives you 20 cast speed, so that's actually insane. I'm actually going to be buying that right after this video since I forgot about it. Oh, I switched to Abyssal, Abyssal socket belt with mana, some res, and I was going to craft a flask effect on it because flask effect is OP on the belt, but then the person who's tried to sell me the craft said it costs like 1x. And I'm probably not spending 1x, but I wonder if this craft is cheaper or any of the lower rank ones are cheaper. But Bit Stitch and Vise is a super good upgrade. If you haven't gotten it already, it allows you to put on another jewel for like more move speed, more mana. And like I got some extra move speed here and chance to avoid being chilled or frozen. And then I got some blessed boots. These are the new boots. And they give some Chaos Res on top, so they're like two-tone boots except for Chaos Res. And they have like dual res, T1 mana, life, and 30 boost speed. I also ran the lab with them, and I got increased mana regeneration if you cast a spell recently. Now the lab is incredibly OP with the Gifts of the Goddess. I did it, and I also got three more helmet sheds that I sold for like 50, 60 C each, and the Gifts of the Goddess was only 18 C to buy. The flasks are still identical. I could get an onslaught on kill jewel and switch this out to something more damaging perhaps like wise oak or something but it also requires me to get a corrupted blood jewel so i'll see if i want to do that switch and the cluster jewels are still the same i didn't really upgrade this i should probably get one but we're getting so close to the swap that it's almost time to do it we're gonna talk about that soon oh yeah i also got a watcher's eye this mod right here, damage taken while affected by clarity recoup of its mana, has helped a lot. It's made this so it's a lot more comfortable to run RF. And it's just a really good mod in general, so I advise you to get it. And let's see how much it is, this uh, mod. Because this mod is actually pretty cheap on the watcher side, so it's only 1x as you can see. But it's actually pretty game changing, so you can get one, any one of these. I don't really know if there's any dual ones that are good. Obviously you want something with wrath or something. But... It, oh, Zealotry. Oh, this one's actually pretty good because you could technically run Zealotry instead of Wrath and you'd be fine. A pretty underrated one. All the other ones I see are more or less the same. But I could probably check out the Zealotry because Zealotry is actually pretty good. But anyhow, that's about it for the gear. No real changes, get, but the character has been a lot stronger with the damage recouped. It allows me to run RF. And it's super super strong now it's time to get into the juicy stuff the ore stacker transition so you can see here i have most of the stuff bought i have 
the unique jewels. I'm missing pure talent here, but I bought an RMR Conqueror's Efficiency. This one, you probably won't be able to get an RMR one. It's way too expensive. Might have to me pretty unrealistic. It's probably like 10, 15x. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six double multi jewels. These I really prioritize because these can go to five to six X pretty fast. If there's like any amount of people switching, like think about how many each pe person needs. So if like just a couple people need it, you'll be fucked. Now I bought Purity of Ice, Purity of Fire, Awakened Cold Pen I still have. So I'll probably have to buy more at Aura Jewels. I have Vol Grace now leveling. So I need, get, need to buy the other gems today before I start. So I have one of the large cluster jewels. This was actually pretty important. I added it into the better trading PoE. This thing makes it so... This is like it just gives you leech. And I use the attacking cast speed. Gives you a chance to avoid interruption. And most importantly, this thing only costs 5k or 15 chaos. So I'll use one of these. I'll use another large cluster with like snowstorm. Maybe blast reef for, for ultimatum. Although I found blast freeze ones to be very expensive. So maybe not. But I'm going to use one large cluster and then one like four pass, uh, seven passive or five passive voices. I also bought both of these. This one has chaos res and this one is not too bad. I bought these for like three to four X each, I think. And then I have one, two, three, four, five regular first amount replenishing. So all the medium clusters are done. All of the jewels are pretty much done. I think I'm missing pure talent and that's it. And I have a uh, vault arc that I was playing around with. I also bought Prism Guardian finally. So physical damage from his take as lightning damage. I don't know what's going on with Prism Guardian, but stuff is super whacked. If you want to see it here, like, let's see Prism Guardian prices. Oh yeah, I also update a better trading in the link every time. It's actually going up 2.5x. Yeah, this is just absurd. I mean, it's not absurd. Overall, the build is probably still cheaper because the Alpha Hal with the Enchant is much more affordable than before. This Alpha Hal will probably be like 8, 9x, but because of the new lab, it's a lot, lot more affordable. And I bought this thing for 7 or 8 exalts, and it's actually a double... Uh, implicit one that's good. Global fizz damage works for hatred and works for not hatred but fizz spells. So if you play EK or something, this would also be good. And I have this one. It's also twenty quality. Still using these boots. So pretty much we have the six link shabs and the six link cloak, and we're gonna use Asinaz. So we have the gloves too. So all we're really missing is a nebulous, the amulet, some gems, a large cluster of voices, and pure talent. RMR and then I need a corrupted blood jewel somewhere and that's pretty much it I have the re regrets I need to swap so today's just gonna be farming those last pieces and We should be good to go. Maybe I can swap at the end of the stream. It should be a pretty easy transition I have some pretty good gear, so it should not be too bad at all Now we're gonna be looking at some people who transition so when should you transition is a question I get asked a lot seems like mid 90s is a good Baseline, this guy transitioned already. He's using Sack of Walls actually with 6 League, which is pretty interesting. He has a good amount of damage. 3.2 is not too bad. He's using this shield, which is, I guess, just a very low ES yeah, shield. Simplex Amulet is probably what we'll be needing to use. I'll probably, I might actually use Darkness and Throne over Stygian. I'll see if I need the RMR. So I'm going to try to play Arc in the beginning just for everyone to see how it works without Arc. So you can see this guy's level 94. He's only a 4 large cluster setup. And he has a bunch of, he doesn't even have all the clusters actually. Yeah, he doesn't have first amount and purposeful for all of these. So I don't even know if this guy is that, how good this build would actually be. 3.2 mil is not too bad though. So you can swap around this level. He uses Void Walker boots since he's playing Spark. So let's see if there's anyone else playing the Shaz variant. So that guy's build is actually not too bad, so I wouldn't be too worried about the swap. So this guy only has 1.9 mil, 94. So he has like the same thing I was going to go for. He's using Malagaros, which is a lot easier. He has uh, Rumi's Flask, Discipline Reservation. So this person is using three large clusters with Snowstorm and Vengeful Commander. These jewels are probably like 2 3x each. And then, does this person have it all? It seems like people are tr really struggling to get this jewel because it's really expensive. Uh, he has 35% increased effect, which is actually not 
a pretty good option actually i guess if you can get this one for cheap to it can really fill out your chaos rest so maybe i'll drop one of my medium clusters and get one of these it's actually a pretty good idea 35 percent effect with four chaos res this chaos res is going to be a problem like it's just going to be an issue about being able to harvest craft and put chaos res on something like this easily well we don't need to worry about getting fertile catalyst for an amulet anymore because this is not mana and life and uh, the reservation of skills has no life and mana attack so it does not work which is a big loss well, this person is using some pretty bad belt overall. I definitely use a Stygian with ES. Uh, you can see most people who swap are around like low 90s. But then some people have just awful gear. Like this person has 285k. Like this is going to feel pretty bad to play. Like, you don't want to swap until you have all of these jewels done with. Because of these jewels to all be the first amount of replenishing. And you need the purposeful harbinger ones or you're just not going to have the aura effect. Now, if your build is like really, really bad already, then yeah, you can swap because you'll probably be better than nothing, right? So, this person uses inertia. It's always a good idea to see that what they're using and if there's any um, inspiration to draw from. Oh, this person's using arc, so that's pretty good. Oh, he has a voices, so this person's setup is probably better than most people. First of all, purposeful, so this guy actually did it with two purposefuls to start with. No intuitive leap or might of the meek armara. But yeah, this is probably what I'd be doing. And it should be pretty good. These people are using Malagaros, so we'll see how it goes. Because you can get if you use Malagaros, these armar jewels are really affordable. But basically you can see that most people should be low to mid nineties when swapping. Have almost everything planned out already. No real users using the Asinas gloves. I guess that adds a huge portion to the budget. But I actually believe that the clear will not be good enough to do the top tier ultimatums without the gloves. So that's why I'm a huge proponent for the gloves. I might use... I will probably buy a Hands of the High Templar too to just test it out for bossing. Because for bossing, Hands of the High Templar is still without a doubt the best. And by quite a bit. Now we're going to go into the section of this trial master that I was doing so this is um the first time the second time I fought him and this was the reward that I received so you get to wave 10 and you fight the trial master and this was actually quite disappointing and made me fear for the longevity of the league and that this was my reward at wave 10 and this fight is pretty rare it's probably like I did 30 of these ultimatums successfully in the beginning and or not in the beginning, but throughout the day, and this is what I was rewarded with. I got one Divine Orb, and then I got a 6 Link Vol Greatsword that is probably worth like 12C. Now the last time I did this, I got um, 10 Ancient Orbs, which was a lot better. But to be fair, I have gotten like 4 Exalts from just pure drops from the mobs after the ultimatum ends, but I'm not really sure how I like the reward structure. The main problem I see with this whole thing is how there's no way to tell or build towards fighting the Trial Master. It just seems really RNG. I think as long as you win a few in a row, like three or so, it has a chance to spawn. And the reward, the wave number is also like arbitrary and there's nothing you really can really do to influence it. Because I've tried it all. I've tried like selecting all of the same things. I've tried uh, only doing certain ones and it just seems to be all random and the rewards are just really... Sometimes good, sometimes bad, but I think if you can do the ultimatum super fast, that they're definitely worth doing for money, at least a little bit. As long as you can complete it. If you ever fail it, then it becomes very not worth it to do. But I'm going to play the Trial Master fight, which was kind of a joke to be honest, but it's an interesting fight with a lot of interesting sounds. I'm already Time to end this. Feel his power. What is going on? What's going on? Uh, excuse me? Hello? Chaos, aid me. What the f- Be still. Okay, there's something. Be still. 
Does it de still me? I should actually de still. I think it does. What is going on? What is going on? I have nothing more to give. This is this fight is so stupid. Hello. Can I not have but a moment's respite? I don't know. Be still. <laughs> what are these voice like? Service continue. Dumbest boss play ever. Chaos <laughs> Why is he making all these moaning noises? Yours. Oh wait, I am never touching an ultimatum ever again when this is my final reward. Well, I hope you enjoyed the trial master fight, and thanks for watching and seeing. And hopefully, this build, this video helps out in your switch over to aura stacker or to just perfect this bfbb build more because this build is actually really strong if you actually fully invested it into it with crit and got a watcher's eye with the actual like clarity mana thing damage taken from mana then this build is actually really good it can easily do all the content so if you like this video be sure to like and subscribe i'll be training more on twitch i'll probably try to transition to the aura stacker on later on today during stream so be sure to catch it if you want to see how i do it and yeah i mean that's gonna be it for me thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you next time